Welcome back. Last year, the diagnostic of new cases of HIV diminished almost 7%. Now, this is attributed to the use of PrEP, a medication reducing the probability of the virus transmission. To tell us more, we welcome now Adriana Andaluz Garcia, Director of External Affairs and Priority Populations. And uh, Adriana, good to have you. Thank you. Good. So I know that when we talk about PrEP, this is new to a lot of people. Yes. Uh, but it's also a blessing in many ways because when it comes to the HIV and AIDS community, this is something that has really been long talked about and now mm -hmm. it's here. So for people don't know about PrEP. Let's first talk about that. Sure. PrEP is a daily, a safe daily pill. Um, Truvada is a drug that's being used, and Truvada has been being used for HIV treatment since 2004. So again, we know it's safe. Mm -hmm. But back in 2012, the FDA approved Truvada to be used as PrEP, or pre-exposure prophylaxis. So the way you take it, like I said, you take it every day, and, um, and you pre it prevents HIV. So in regards to awareness, are we finding that more and more people are becoming aware? Where, do you, where does it stand with awareness right now? Sure. So we, we do surveys, a lot of surveys, and what we found is that only 16% of sexually active Latino New Yorkers um, know about PrEP. Mm -hmm. uh, about 32% of white sexually active New Yorkers know about PrEP, and about 27% of black sexually active New Yorkers know about PrEP. So as you can see, the rates are very, very low, mm -hmm. and even lower still about when we, um, when we see how many people are actually using PrEP. So you've got this partnership with the Latino Commission, and uh, yes. talk about that. Sure. Well, as you mentioned, we worked with the Latino Commission on AIDS to develop a campaign that specifically speaks to Latinos. As I said, you know, um, people, Latinos know, very few Latinos know about PrEP. So we wanted to make sure that we created a campaign that spoke to them. Historically, what the health department has done is we create campaigns, but then we translate them from English to Spanish. What's different about this campaign, or Listos, is that we worked with the Latino Commission on AIDS to make sure that we created the campaign in Spanish first and then translate it into English. Mm. For people who are out there right now, what's been the response? It's been great so far. We just launched it last week and it'll be soon in the subway, subway stations in the next couple of weeks and on digital media this week. And so when we talk about PrEP, a lot of people talk about the fact of worried about some stereotypes, things that are associated with mm -hmm. it. So take a few seconds to break down some of the stereotypes. What are the things that you hear when it comes to the drug that you can let people know just simply isn't true. Yes. So one of the things that there are a lot of side effects. Side effects are very minimal and very very manageable. The other thing is cost. It is a very expensive drug, but the great thing is that in New York State, Medicaid covers it, as do most private insurance companies. And even if you don't have Medicaid or private insurance, you can still visit one of our eight sexual health clinics, and they can help you get on prep. Wow. And so it's available for a lot. Of, yes. Yeah. What are the challenges with this right now? Well, one of the biggest challenges is awareness. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned, a lot of people don't know about PrEP, and especially in communities of color, which are the communities that are impacted the most for H by HIV. We, that's one of the reasons we, we launched this campaign and mo many of our other campaigns as well, to make sure that people are aware that PrEP is an option. It's a safe option. And I think it's, that's one of the biggest obstacles, making sure people know it's available, safe, and cost should not be an issue. The governor has spoken out and said that he wants to reduce uh, and eliminate HIV and AIDS uh, and doing a good job in terms of putting the word out right yes. there. How does this advance and how does this work with his with, with his vision? It works perfectly. It's one of his three pillars of the Ending the Epidemic Plan, which is the plan to end AIDS by 2020. And New York City has done a really fantastic job. Our city council has been incredibly supportive, as has our mayor. And so they've given us additional funds to ramp up our sexual health clinics. And that's one of the reasons we can provide PrEP at our clinics. Are people taking advantage of the clinics? Um, I think uh, use has gone up, but you know, people have to know that they're there. Um, we just reopened our Chelsea Clinic. Um, and there's also a clinic here in the Bronx and Morrisania. So we do have, like I said, eight clinics available. How does people work around the stereotypes? You know, we talked about stereotypes sure. and then also things are just barriers, right? Because, uh, you know, it's obvious people are having sex, mm -hmm. but the other side of it is when it, talks about, when it comes to talking about sexual health mm -hmm. or getting the necessary tools for sexual health, sometimes people are just not coming forward, as we see with, right. you know, with regards to these numbers. What can be done and what can you give to as a, as a message to those people to kind of like break down that wall a little bit? Well, one of the things we always say is that you should be, you should feel safe talking to your provider, your healthcare provider, about the kind of sex that you're having. And if you're not comfortable talking to them about that, and then they can't give you the right uh, recommendations uh, and they wouldn't be able to tell you that PrEP is an option for you. So if that's the case, if you don't, if you can't speak with your provider, 
get another provider. Mm -hmm. Find somebody that you can talk, you can talk to. And so this is awareness, and so for people who want to find out more, what do they do? They can go to our website, nyc.gov slash health. They can call 311, or they can visit any of our sexual health clinics. And also, also you said this, this uh, campaign is getting ready to roll out. So as the yes. campaign is getting ready to roll out, what can people expect to see? So we're, our campaign is going to be out in the subway trains and subway stations and bus shelters and all over digital media, which includes social media, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. All over? Yes. All right. Well, Adriana, thank you so much for coming and sharing with thank us. You. And certainly we're glad that we can spread the word here. Of course, if you're looking out there in the community, you'll see billboards, posters, and all that. But know what you saw first here. And uh, we'll be glad to continue to share the information with you. You can find out more on our website at www.bronxnet.org. Adriana, thanks so much for coming Thank and sharing you so with much. us. All righty, listen, stay with us. We've got to take a quick break. Coming up, we'll have more show after this. Don't go away. We're coming right back.